Derek, well done, a double on the day, one race to go still, um, started off with Matten's way for Dennis Hogan earlier on, very impressive uh, performance in the son of walk in the park in the four-year-old Gelson's Maiden. Yeah, it was a nice performance, he, um, he jumped and travelled exceptionally well, he, uh, his behaviour was unbelievably professional. Um, he'd been around Tipperary three weeks ago over fences and I thought he was a really nice horse and uh, you're afraid then to say it, you know, you love to see him doing it themselves at the races, you know, so he done that today, a fine performance. Uh, a few weeks ago in Oma House you won on a very impressive son of walk in the park as well called Down Memory Lane for Johnny yeah. Fogarty who's now gone to Gordon Elliott's. This, this uh, stallion walk in the park is oh God. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They're two exceptionally nice horses now. Down memory, uh, Memories Way, he uh, he put up a fine performance, uh, Johnny Fogarty and uh, and uh, Mikey, his brother, uh, they produced him in Great Frettle and Mikey always told me that he's been telling me for three months that he was a good horse and he produced him to perfection like, and he played a fine performance. So uh, I'd say Gordon is a very nice horse in his hands there. He brought so many good horses over the years and this must be a great kick going around riding these horses, th th these four year olds, for trainers who you mightn't usually always ride for. Yeah. Um, Sure, the four-year-old band of horses is normally very competitive, and it's hard to pick up nice horses nowadays. So I work with the Holdens, Elmery Holden. They normally have a nice bunch of horses through the autumn. Uh, just a bit steady to get going this autumn, so it allows me then to diverse a little bit and, and, and write for different people. So it works great. Would I be right in saying that Elmery Holden has a nice walk in the park to run? Yeah, sure. Come here. It's like everything, they have to do it themselves, don't they? Yeah. Uh, talk won't get them over the line. No. Uh, he runs tomorrow in a cannon and. Uh, He's shown all the right signs, but he needs to do it at the race course yet. Good. Um, you picked up your double then on La Feline in the Mare's Open. This is some mare, isn't she? Uh, I'm very fond of her. Oh my God, she is such a sweetheart. Uh, she tries her heart out, and if you could ever have a race horse that tries too hard, she burns herself out, and she gets beat sometimes because of it, because she tries so hard early in the race. Uh, when she gets it right and she settles and relaxes early, she's nearly unbeatable. I, I'd love to, I'd take on the big guns with her now on, on, on soft ground around the big track. Uh, I'd love to, but uh, we'll wait and see what Sam wants to do. I'd say he might campaign the Mayor's Open, but we'll see. Of course, she won, she was leading, um, she was champion uh, Mayor last year in point to point. Sam, mm. she's always placed in her last dozen runs, she's been placed. I remember when she was with Paul Lowell and she won on virtually unraceable ground bottomless mm. around mm. Limerick. So, yeah, for a small mare, she's like you said, nah, she's very, very she's tough. got the heart of a line, that's what it is, and she kills herself trying for you, and you know. Big fences there, and she's trying. She's pulling and dragging, and she's trying her heart out. She's she's burning herself up. When she relaxes and she gets into a good rhythm, uh, she's she's very nice. Things are going well for you this season. It's going lovely, yeah. Thanks for the God. Good. Well done today. Thank you very much. Call call comes to it. Over safely, beautiful jump, and it's going to be a trouble of the day for Derek. The easiest thing of the afternoon, of course, to get back in the trouble for that turning on from and work.